everyone, this is Ginny from Homestead Corner and today we're going to be canning up these butternut squash. I have tons and tons of squash in the pantry and I want to get it canned up, make some room in there because things are getting tight in there. So um, I'm going to get these uh, all canned up today. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Okay, so you just want to make sure that your squash is nice and clean and then I'm just gonna go right in and start cutting these babies up they are super hard so they're really hard to get through these are a nice winter squash they will last most of the winter on the shelf just the way they are in the pantry as long as it's kind of cool and there's no light in there but I just I don't have a lot of pantry space, so I can get these down into jars and it will take up less space for me. And it's make it nice and quick and easy for meals also. So I'm just gonna pop these in a bowl. I'm gonna get a bowl here to put our scraps in. So we'll put that over here. So I'm just going to take this seedy stuff out of here like that and then we're going to start peeling these. You can use a peeler on this but I find it much easier just to use a paring knife and peel them by hand because it's so hard. I'm just going to get that green off. I love canned squash in the winter time. Making some squash biscuits or you can add it to so many meals. It's a great side dish just on its own with some butter. Um, I really like it like that. and I love making soup with it. Squash soup. Curried squash soup is my favorite. So, let's see, get this out of the way. We're just going to cut these up in about one inch squares. This piece is kind of thin, but that's about the size you want. Right there, just about one inch squares. and Or, you know, they don't have to be square. That doesn't really matter, but that's a great size. And these will be completely cooked when you get done canning them, so they are ready to go. But I am just going to keep going on this and get this all cut up, and I will bring you back. Okay, so we have our squash all cut up. <clears throat> And we're going to start filling our jars. The jars have been washed. They're super clean. Everything is super clean and been washed. Our lids and rings, jars, they are not hot because my canner is cold. So the jars are cold. The water is like room temperature. Um, not. I heated it up a little bit, but not that much. I don't want it to be hot because we don't want to shock our jars. So we're just going to start filling up our jars. It's really simple and oh I just love canned squash in the winter it makes life so easy and you can kind of shake these and so you can get a few more pieces in there and we will kind of push those down in grab some smaller pieces and kind of squeeze them in you want to leave one inch head space so you want to make sure you don't go past this rim right here and then once you have your I'm just going to fill this up with some fresh filtered water
right up to our one inch head space. And then I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of canning salt. You can use any salt you want in here, <clears throat> but um, the canning salt won't um, make it cloudy or anything in there. It will keep it looking nice and still gives it that flavor that you want. So <clears throat> then we are going to debubble. And you just want to, you can get a lot of bubbles. This is easy to have big bubbles in down at the bottom. So you definitely want to move this around and make sure that you debubble this. These hard chunks of squash are good at hiding those bubbles. So just push that back down in. And then we're going to, I've got a little white vinegar here that we're going to use. And I am just going to wipe my rim and make sure there is no salt or anything on there from while we were filling it. And a lid and a ring. And we're off to the canner. She's ready to go. So I'm going to pop this in the canner and I'm going to keep filling jars. Okay, so we got our first eight jars filled and into the canner and these are pint and a half jars so we're going to process them at the quart time which is 55 minutes so at 10 pounds of pressure because of my elevation and I'm just going to put a splash of vinegar in there and just to help keep those jars nice and clean we're going to get our cover on and we're going to start heating this up and we're going to let it vent for 10 minutes before we put our okay, weight Okay, so on. we've been getting a steady stream of steam. I don't know if you can see that coming out for about 10 minutes. So we are going to put our 10 pound weight on. And once that starts jiggling, then we'll start our processing time. All right, so we ended up with 14 pint and a half jars of our buttercup squash. I just this is one of my favorite squashes I just love this and this will be wonderful in the pantry so we're gonna let this sit overnight and tomorrow morning we'll remove the rings clean them up and label them and get them in the pantry if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe see you in the next video bye